Hey, good evening. Welcome to Jam Time. This is Pastor Lisa. Tonight we are beginning a new theme. This is um, the season of Easter because Easter was um, two Sundays ago. And so our theme is going to be Easter basket surprises. So wondering what kind of surprises or if you got any surprises in your Easter basket. Um, you can see all the eggs in my baskets. And each week we're going to open up an egg or two or three eggs and see what kind of surprises we find. So tonight, uh, let's see, we'll open this one up. Let's see what we find. Oh, we found, I found some, some coins here. And we'll open this one up. And, well, we might open it up. Oh, found a few more coins. So we found coins tonight. And one more thing tonight. A Hershey Kiss. So we have a, a big Hershey Kiss. So we'll see what our scriptures from the Bible, what the Bible has to say about coins and about a kiss. Um, so I'm going to read our scripture and then we'll talk about these. So the first um, Bible um, thing from the Bible, scripture from the Bible I'm going to read is from Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, which is the first gospel in the New Testament, chapter 26, verses 14 through 16 and 47 to 49. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest. And I'm going to show you here on my Legos. Here's Judas and here's the chief priest. So Judas went to the chief priest and said, "If you, uh, what will you give me if I turn Jesus over to you? And so see this guy, I didn't have 30 pieces of silver, but I do have two, two gems. So they paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from then, that time on, he was looking for an opportunity to turn Jesus in. So, uh, Jesus um, spent some time sharing a meal with the disciples and and that meal is what we now know as Holy Communion, the bread and the wine or grape juice. And afterwards he went out into the garden and um, while Jesus was talking and uh, Judas came up and he gave him a kiss. Um, and so there was a large crowd and people carrying guns and swords and clubs and they had been sent by the chief priests and elders of the people. His betrayer, Judas, gave him a sign, and he said, Arrest the man I kiss. Just then he came to Jesus, and he said, Hello, Rabbi. And then he kissed him. And so Jesus then was taken away and was crucified or killed on the cross. And um, afterwards, Judas... I'm going to take these these back. Judas then realized what he had done. He didn't really think that Jesus was going to die. And when he realized that he was going to, he felt sorry. And so he, he took his coins back to the chief priest. And, um, and he returned them to them. And he, they said they didn't want them back. They were his. But he threw them down and he left and did not keep those coins. <clears throat> so, um, as we think about that story, we're reminded of Judas and betraying, betraying Jesus. And with, and he received coins, and he betrayed Jesus with a kiss. And so, as we in this particular scripture, coins and a kiss are actually something that's that shows betrayal and something not good. I was just wondering if maybe you've ever been betrayed, or if somebody has betrayed you. You know, there was a, a girl named Jody, and. Um, she 
um, had a best friend and some other friends and they all hung out together and there were five or six of them and then when they got to um, the next grade in the school some of the other girls decided that they didn't like Jody's other friend anymore because she she didn't try to fit into people she just was who she was and so they thought she was weird and they were saying and so Jody then behind her friend's back said yeah they thought that she thought they were that she was weird too and there were times when her friend came over and wanted to go out and play and Jody said no she was busy or she she made excuses and um and it made her friend um feel bad because she real she she realized that Jody was lying to her and that she just didn't want to come and be her friend and to play with her and so when Jody realized she felt very hurtful that she had betrayed her friend. And so um, she felt very sorry that she had talked bad about her and then decided that she should make a better decision. And from that time on, when her other friends talked bad about her friend and said how weird she was, Jody didn't care. Jody didn't join in. In fact, she said, no, she's not weird. She's my best friend. And Jody then started hanging out with her friend more. Um, and then she, she thought, well, if my friend ever knew what, that I had talked bad about her behind the back, how that would have made her even feel worse. And sometimes we do that. We talk behind our friend's back or somebody, somebody maybe is not really a good friend, but we talk behind their back. And that's betrayal. And that that's not, not what Jesus wants us to do. Judas, you know, betrayed Jesus, but Ju Jesus still loved him and he forgave him so we're reminded through this story that we have money and we can either use that to betray or to hurt or we can use the money to to do good things to maybe buy something to help somebody but we can use money to show off and kind of um, put down friends people who don't have what we have or we can use the money maybe to you know, to do something good for. And um, a kiss. That a kiss can be um, in love. We can think about love, that we can show love and stand up for somebody who maybe is being made fun of. Or we can betray them and talk bad about them. And so it's important um, to be able to to stand up for others, but also not to betray Jesus, not to betray Jesus. You know, if somebody says, do you believe in Jesus? And to say, yes, I do. And not, no, I don't, I don't, I don't go to church or I don't believe in Jesus, but to be able to stand up and, and, and be able to let people know if they ask to be honest that, that we do follow Jesus. Um, so that's what we learn from our money and our kisses. So this week, when you have money, uh, maybe uh, maybe think about kisses and love that will do something good with them and not use them to betray somebody. So since we were talking about money, I thought we would do a science experiment with money. So we have a penny, and I'm going to put it under this cup. And I have some water. And we're going to see, um, I don't know if you can see the coin, but I think you can. We're going to see what happens. Okay, Rich, can you see the coin? Okay, tell me when you can't see it. No. It disappeared. It disappeared? Oh, I can't even see it. So what happened to it? Well, it's called refraction. That um, refraction is um, the direction of the light rays change by a substance. So the light rays of the allow us to see the coin and then this substance, water, changes them. And so the penny is still under the cup, but we can't see it now, it kind of disappears. So I have a penny in this cup and you can't see it. Now I'm not sure with the camera if you can end up seeing it or not, but you can't see it of course now, but we'll see if I pour the water in. Can you see it at all, Rich? No, not yet. Hmm. Yeah, you can still see it. You should be able to see it. 
should be able to see it in your cup, like not see it, but when you pour the water, you should be able to see it. Hmm. Well, something to try. Um, uh, I should be able, without looking into it, I should be able to see it from the side. The water should react, refract. I'm not seeing it, but it's science. So sometimes things work a little differently. Maybe I need a light color, a white colored cup or something to see it better. Maybe the cup is too dark. So have fun at home making your penny disappear or making it up here. Um, so remember we had a Lenten chain and about following Jesus. And it was about forgiveness and sharing and believing and helping and loving and growing. And, and sometimes it's challenging to follow Jesus. Well, today, tonight, we're going to add our last chain on it. And that's to remind us that Jesus is alive. And Jesus is alive and he loves us no matter what. And he loved and forgave Judas, even though he betrayed him with a kiss. And so we know that Jesus loves us, forgives us, no matter what. And we want to do the same to others. We want to be loving and forgiving. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us, even when... We might betray you or betray others. Help us to share your love. You are alive. Amen. Thank you. Have a good night.